In this video, I would like to tie a three-pass herringbone knot in a seven-part, six-byte costa knot. And we've just finished tying the seven-part, six-byte costa knot. And normally, you would go right under there to finish the knot. But to tie a herringbone, we go to the left-hand side of the standing end and go up right there. And we'll do... The same thing it's doing, following it on the left hand side, going up through the knot. And to make it a three pass, we have to tie two of these herringbone interweaves in our knot. Okay, now, if you were doing a pineapple, you'd go under that cross. But doing a herringbone, you go under this very top cross. And now we're following the right hand side of this strand. Over under, over under, and that brings us to our first set of pairs. And with a herringbone interweave, you meet the pairs opposite than you do on a pineapple. So we're gonna go over one, split our pair, and now we're gonna go under this outside X. So it's two there and one there for a three X. <laughs> and now we're continue following this sign. And here's our pair on this side. So we're gonna go over one under our three X on the very top. And the reason I'm tying this first interweave with the same color as the primary knot is when you tie the second interweave, if you tie them with three colors, it has a broken pattern. But if I tie either the first two or the second two with the same string, It'll give us a good pattern. Okay, I split our pair, went over two under our three X. Got a cue there. Okay, following here, over under, over under, and split that pair. Now we go over two under our 3x out two and in one okay we're following here under over and split our pair go under two Twist that over two, split a pair, and go under our three X. <laughs> Continue following over under, over one, split a pair, and under two, split a pair. <clears throat> Okay, over two and under our three X. Right there. Over one, under one, split a pair. Over two, under two, splitting pairs. And we got us an over two, split a pair, and under our three X. Okay. 
Now over one under one, split a pair. Over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. Now we got an over two, split a pair, and go under our three X. Over one, split a pair, under two, over two, under two, split in pairs. Now we got us an over two, split a pair, and under our three X. Over one, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Okay, over two, split a pair. And then we go under our three X and we're coming out splitting a pair. Now it's just over two, under two, splitting pairs. Over two, under two, over two, under two. Okay, now that gets us to the bottom. Over two, split a pair, and then you would go right here. To finish the knot, you'd come right alongside. This is our first interweave string. You'd come right there. Now, I'm going to just go out of the knot so that we don't have that string sticking up in our second interweave. Okay, now we get us a new strand, a new color, so this will be easier to see. And we're going to go under three. It's one, two, three to get into our knot. Actually, it'd only be an under two because this string and that string would be the same string. So it'd just be under those two to get in the knot. But the main thing is we want to be following the right hand side of our inner we are that first interweave string so we're going to go under two and into the knot and we're following that string just doing over two under two just what it's doing all the way to the top now we're up here at the top I want to pull this bite because what you're doing is under two this way and under two that way for a 4x. Those two and then those two. And this is still the same strand that we're following down is the interweave string. We went up on the right of that strand and now we're going down on the left of that strand. So it's just over two, under two, over two, under two, and that gets us to the bottom, and there's an over three to split that pair. And here, we're gonna split that pair 
then you go out under two and back in under those two for a 4x. Following the left of that strand, over two, under two, over two, under two. Okay, here's our, let me straighten this out. I want to pull that bite out so that we go over three and split that pair. We go under two out of the knot and back in under that one and that one for a 4x. Now we're just following over two, under two, over two, under two. And we come out splitting a pair. Okay, we're gonna we split that pair. So we're gonna go over three and split. Let me fix my string here. Go. So we split a pair, so we're gonna go over three and split a pair. Oh. I need to split that pair back here where I did that I needed to split the pair and I missed it right there okay see how we went over two and then under three and split the pair now I'm going to go over three and split the pair out under two and back under two for our four X. Okay, here we are following over under over under and pick up our pair split our pair for an under three. Okay, pull my string out, go over three, under two that way, and under two that way. See, that's why I pull my string out, is so that, see how it pushed that over? I want to have my string up there so that it doesn't interfere with us. Okay, so that was our under our four X. Now we're following right here on the right hand side of that string. So it's over two, under two, over three to split that pair under three to split that pair they're not starting to tighten up real nice we're gonna pull that bite out so that we can go over three split that pair go under two and under two more for our four X. Okay, over two, under two. Over three and split that pair. Under three and split that pair. bind out so I can go under my 4x <clears throat> over 2 under 3 and split that pair over 2 
over three, split a pair, under three, split a pair, pull my bite out, so I can split that pair and go under my 4x. Now it's an over two, under three, split that pair. Over three, split a pair. Under three, split a pair. Bite out. Okay, over three, split a pair, and under my four X. A little twist in there. Okay, now it's over three, split that pair. Under three, split a pair. Over three, split a pair. Under three, split a pair. Take my bite there, over three, split that pair, and under my 4X. Over three, split a pair, under three, split a pair. Over three, split a pair, under three, split a pair. Okay, now when I pull my bite out, right there is our pair. So we're going to go and split this pair, go over three, split this pair, come under and split that pair for our 5x. So it's two that way and three that way, but we split that pair right there. Over three, split a pair, under three, split a pair. And here's our pairs we gotta go to. Over three, split that pair, under three, split that pair. Not my knot's getting really tight. It's getting just right, because this is the end. So we go in under there, and right there, coming up alongside of our thing, finishes or not. So that is a three-pass herringbone knot tied in a seven-part, six-byte gusset knot. It makes your ends more square than a pineapple knot does. I hope you will try tying this knot. Thank you for watching this video.